Governor Walker, welcome to the Reagan Library. It's just great to have you here. It's a, it really is an honor. Um, I know that I think you just came from the Republican Governors Association Conference, mm -hmm. right? Question for you is um, we're about 10 days past mm -hmm. the recent election. What did you sense is the mood of the governors with respect to how things are going, where the country's headed? Yeah. Well, certainly uh, significant disappointment over the presidential election. But I think, unlike maybe some others in Washington, uh, incredible enthusiasm and optimism for the future because there are now 30 Republican governors across this country. 30 states have elected Republican governors. And as President Reagan appropriately pointed out in his first inaugural, it's important to remember that the federal government didn't create the states, the states created the federal government. And that real change is going to happen in the states. If we want to reclaim America, that's where it happens. And that's where the leadership's coming from, from the governors, just like the president was once a governor here in California. You sound optimistic. I do. Well, yeah. and, and, you know, and Paul Ryan and I grew up down the road from each other. And people asked us earlier this year when he was running uh, for the vice presidency along with Mitt Romney about him. And, and I said, you know, Paul and I both come out of the same, the same age nearby each other. We were both heavily influenced by this president, President Reagan. And more than anything, it wasn't just as conservatives or Republicans, but as people eternally optimistic in the goodwill of the American people. And I think as governors, that's, that's where we're headed. As the party tries to grapple with how things went and what to do in the future, I hear some voices say, well, okay, this is it. That's the message. We need to moderate. And even if we have to move from principle, others say, uh-uh, uh, stick your guns. What's your position on that? Well, I think it's clear our beliefs are right. The problem is uh, we haven't communicated it well, uh, particularly to core groups of voters, to young voters, to uh, ethnic minorities, uh, to women as well as uh, men in our electorate, uh, at least nationally. I, I think in contrast, again, you look back to Republican governors, in just about every one of these battleground states uh, where the president was just reelected uh, about a week and a half ago, those are states that two years ago elected Republican governors, in my case, elected Republican governor twice within the last two years. <laughs> uh, and I think the reason is because we, we've had an optimistic pro-growth message about how not only fiscal responsibility, but more importantly, about prosperity for everyone. Uh, that we're a very aspirational group. We're folks that believe uh, that the great way to attract not only voters, but the great way to get your states back on track is look for the good and look for ways to let everyone live the American dream. As a party nationally, we haven't done an effective enough job of letting every voter know that we're not just for a select few, we're for everyone. And that's where the, the challenge is in the next four years. Got it. Now, you in particular have, since you were elected 2010, you, you've been through the ringer. A lot of things have happened, and a lot of people nationally know all about it. Uh, survive a recall, in fact, win a recall stronger than you won the original election, right? Now, what I, I, as what we read outside Wisconsin is, okay, if they couldn't beat you in the recall, now they're going to try and beat you in the court. So what is, are these, is this ever going to end? Well, we've got to be persistent. You know, we haven't let it, let us down. We're going to ultimately prevail. Uh, it is frustrating at times, but uh, in the end, we, we, we survived a extensive protest. We've survived an extensive legislative battle. We survived a court challenge that went all the way to the state Supreme Court last year. We survived recall elections in the state legislature. We survived a recall election, the first ever for a governor to be sustained in a recall election. And we just had an election on November 6, where within our state, Republicans were able to not only regain the Senate majority, but add two seats. We added to our majority in the lower house. And, and now, again, yeah, there's, there's going to continue to be legal challenges, but we're optimistic that in the end, when it gets through the appeals process, it will ultimately be upheld. And uh, more importantly than just the legal process, it'll be continued to be upheld because the people of our state see that it works. More than $2 billion worth of savings. Property taxes went down for the first time in 12 years. Uh, we see job growth as opposed to job loss in every area we made promises in. We not only kept them, uh, those reforms are working. Yeah, you've been marvelously successful, so congratulations on that. I just have one last question. You know, we're at the Reagan Library. This is an important place for a number of reasons, one of which is we routinely hold presidential debates. I'm sure you've been, uh, seen them. So the question I have is, is in the next four years when we have such a presidential debate, uh, should we be sending you an invitation? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I certainly hope that the, uh, the next nominee of the party is a governor. <laughs> Whom that might be is yet to be seen. Uh, I love being governor, uh, so I'm going to focus on that for the next few years. God's 
who knows what God's plans are for the future. But my hope is there's a number of great Republican governors across this country, any of whom uh, would be great candidates and even more impressively would be great presidents in the future because as governors we have to lead. Yeah. You know, we can't pass the buck, we can't print money. Uh, we ultimately have to lead and we have to lead for everyone, not just for our own party, not just for people who share our ideological beliefs, but for all our people. And it would be nice, I think, looking forward to have a, presence, a president who ultimately appealed to the goodness of all the American people. Got it. Governor, cannot thank you enough for coming. Appreciate it. My pleasure, Dan. Thank all you. Right.